Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to mine Nexa on a Windows PC. Before we begin, there's going to be three things that we'll need to mine Nexa. First one is going to be a wallet. We're going to be using the official Nexa wallet. The second thing will be a miner. In this video, we're going to be using LOL miner, but if you have a better miner in mind, please let me know in the comments below. And the third thing is going to be a pool. The pool that I'm going to be using in this video is going to be Wooly Pulley, but I'll also list other options in the description below. Your feedback, your comments is very valuable. So if you have better miners and better pools, let me know in the comments below. So let's go ahead and start mining Nexa. We're at the official URL, which is nexa.org. I'll make sure to link that in the description below. We're gonna go into the node section over here and scroll down a little bit. What we're gonna be doing in this example is downloading the Windows version. So go ahead and click on that. It's gonna download over here and it's gonna click on the executable file and minimize my browser and we'll begin the installation. So if you get a prompt like this, this is just a standard warning. You can say yes to it. And we're just gonna quickly go through the setup. So this is the 64-bit version. We'll click on next. I'm okay with uh, the folder being on my C drive. If you're running into space issues, you can go ahead and browse and find another folder. You can see that the required space is just under 50 megs. Click on next and uh, the name is fine and we'll let it install and extract all the files. This is gonna store a copy of the blockchain. So if you think space is gonna be an issue, you can select a custom folder right over here or a different drive. If that's okay with you, you can click on OK and it's going to go ahead and launch the wallet. So we get a warning right over here that says that the wallet is not password protected. By default, it's not. Uh, you're definitely going to want to head and go and do that. So we're going to click on OK. So right now it's syncing with the blockchain. This might take a few minutes for it to sync up. So we definitely want to set a password alphanumeric with some special characters. Uh, if you go up to the settings, click on encrypt wallet, and now you can set a passphrase or a password. That just adds a nice layer of security to your wallet where only you have access to it. Once you have that entered in, make sure you have a copy of that in a secure location where you can retrieve it if you do lose it. This will take some time for it to download a copy of the blockchain. I'm going to let it go ahead and do that. What I'll do is I'll just click on hide. Now we're ready to get our wallet address for our miner. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is click on the receive menu option up here at the top. Next, you just have to type in a label and you can pretty much type in anything you want in here. I'm going to type in miner. And once you have that entered, you can leave amount and message empty. Click on request payment. And this is where you're going to find your wallet address. Now this wallet address, you can just highlight this and copy it. And we'll be pasting this later on inside our miner. So we're at the GitHub page for LOL Miner or LOL Miner. The latest version that we have out right now is version 1.72. And if you scroll down a little bit here, we have a few releases that are out. We're gonna be grabbing the Windows 64-bit version because we're doing this on a Windows PC. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and it's gonna download onto my computer. You might get a message like this. Now, if you get a message like this, that's because Windows sees it as a potential threat. What you wanna do is create a mining folder and add it to your Windows exclusion folder. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to right click on this and create a new folder. I'm going to call it mining. And then I'm going to go and open up my Windows security folder. I'm going to go into virus and threat protection. Then I'm going to scroll all the way down and then I'm going to go into virus and threat protection settings and click on that. And we're going to scroll all the way down here and we're going to look for exclusions and we're going to add and remove an exclusion. If you get a prompt, just say yes to that. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to select folder. Okay. And here it is. It's in my desktop. So I'm selecting this folder, select folder, and now it's in here. So anything that I extract and put inside this mining folder, it'll be excluded from the Windows security software and it won't get flagged. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. We're back at this window and I'm not going to select discard. I'm going to say keep. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. Okay. And here is our file. I'm going to drag and drop it into the folder I just created on my desktop. Okay. And we'll go over inside our mining folder and here it is this is version 1.72 that i just downloaded and we have a bunch of batch files here i'm just going to minimize this window and move this into the center so we can take a look at this all right so we have a bunch of batch files that are listed over here the most important file that we're going to want is the executable file which is right over here the one that we're actually going to be looking in here is the mynexa.bat this is the batch file for mining nexa so go ahead and right click on that and select edit. We're getting a Windows protection message. If you just click on the more info and then click on run anyway, it's gonna pop open the window right over here. All right, so this is the batch file. There's only a few things that we're gonna edit and that's literally just these three lines. We're actually only gonna be editing two things here. And the first thing is the pool. Now they have ACC pool. And because I've used that before in the past, I'm actually just gonna switch it up and we'll use 
Wooly Pooly instead. I'll make sure I link this pool in the description below as well as other pools. A lot of users have asked me what, how come they haven't received anything in their wallets and it's usually set by the pool payout. So Wooly Pooly has the minimum payout as 50,000 Nexa. Until you have mined this amount of Nexa, it's not gonna show up in your wallet. Once this has been reached, it'll automatically get paid out. You can see that the fee is 0.9%. And what we're gonna be doing now is just getting the connection information. So we're gonna click on this link right over here. It says connection and you have all the servers right over here. I'm in Canada. So I'm gonna click on the copy button right over here for the Canadian server. And then I'm gonna switch back over to my text file. And I'm just gonna select the section right over here, right after the pool equals and then delete the ACC and the port. And I'm gonna paste in the new one. And there we go. So I have the new address over here. And now what I'm gonna do is copy in my wallet address. So I'm going to switch back over to my wallet. I'm going to highlight the wallet address right over here, copy that and go back into my batch file. And I'm taking out everything from Nexa all the way down to the end. We're leaving in the quotations. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to paste in my new address and I'm going to just remove this space. We don't want any spaces in there. And that's it. So we're basically done. We're going to go up to the file menu at the top and then save it. I go ahead and close this go back inside my mining folder. And all I have to do is just double click on this batch file and it's gonna open up LOL Miner. So I'll go ahead and do that. There we go. You might get a prompt like this for the first time that you use it. It's been blocked by the firewall. You wanna make sure that you allow access and it'll go through your firewall and it'll start connecting. And it's gonna run a couple of tests right now and then it'll begin mining. Okay, there we go. It's starting to mine right now. We're getting an average hash rate of 33.43. This will adjust over time. You can see that my graphics card that I'm using here is a GTX 1660T. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this run for a little bit and then we'll jump over to the pool to check out the dashboard. All right, so it's been a little bit of time. I'm back at the Wooly Pulley website. We're going to check out the dashboard and see how my miner is coming along. Up here at the top, you're going to go ahead and put in your address. So I'll just paste it in and then click on the search and it's going to gather all the data for my card. So right over here, you can see your hash rate. Uh, your balance once this has been confirmed it'll show up in the balance when your balance reaches the minimum threshold of fifty thousand, it'll then get paid out and then you get a little graph over here so you can see what your hash rate is over a long period of time and at the bottom if you have multiple workers you'll they'll be listed right over here and that's how you do it that's how you mine nexa using woolly pulley and lol miner hope you found this video useful if you did please smash that like button thank you for watching i'll catch you on the next one